हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर क्लास वी विल डिस्कस सुपर पोजिशन थियोरम दिस इज द पोर्शन ऑफ फोर्थ मॉड्यूल फॉर डिप्लोमा इन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग स्टूडेंट्स एंड सेकेंड मॉड्यूल फॉर डिप्लोमा इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन स्टूडेंट्स सो लेट एस फर्स्ट डिस्कस वट इज सुपर पोजिशन थियोरम सुपर पोजिशन थियोरम स्टेट्स दैट द वोल्टेज एक्रॉस और करेंट थ्रू an element in a linear circuit is the algebraic sum of the voltage across or current through that element due to each independent source acting alone or you may say that any linear bilateral network consisting of more than one independent sources then voltage across or current through an element is the algebraic sum of voltage across or current through an element by considering each of the source separately this means in this theorem you will find the current through or voltage across any element like mass analysis method and nodal analysis method this superposition principle also helps to find voltage and current so let us discuss what are the steps to find voltage or current in any linear network by using this superposition principle the first step turn off all the independent sources except one source and find the voltage or current due to active source and element second repeat step 1 for all independent source and third step the total voltage across or current through an element is the algebraic sum of voltage across or current through that element by considering each of the source separately let us discuss one example of a circuit where the question is to find voltage drop across 4 ohm resistor by using superposition theorem this is the circuit diagram here question is to find voltage drop across 4 ohm resistor by using superposition theorem so first step here in this circuit diagram it having two number of sources one 6 volt voltage source another is 3 ampere current source so for finding voltage across 4 ohm resistor you have to separately find the voltage across 4 ohm resistor by using 6 volt and 3 ampere sources separately here first i consider in the first step i consider 6 volt source and neglect 3 ampere current source students in first year basic electrical subject you have learned that current source or current is to be make zero by making the open circuit where current source was originally plus or simply you may say that current is make to be zero by opening the circuit and current and voltage is make to be zero by short circuiting the path clear so in the first step we consider 6 volt as a source for this circuit and we neglect this current source by open circuiting the path so my simplified circuit diagram for first step is this is the simplified circuit diagram for first step now you find the voltage across this 4 ohm before this you have to find what is the current flowing through this path as it is a simple path or it consists of a 
सिंगल मेस यू अप्लाई द किपचॉप्स वोल्टेज लो फॉर फाइंडिंग द करेंट आई सो हियर द करेंट आई इज टोटल वोल्टेज ऑफ दिस सर्किट हाउ मेनी वोल्टेज इज आर देर ओनली सिक्स वोल्ट सिक्स डिवाइडेड बाय टोटल रेजिस्टेंस टू रेजिस्टर्स आर कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज फॉर दिस सर्किट दिस टू रेजिस्टर एट एंड फोर आर इन सीरीज सो यू सिंपली एड दिस टू रेजिस्टर गिफ्ट ट्वेल्व विच गिफ्ट जीरो पॉइंट फाइव एम्पियर सो वोल्टेज ड्रॉप अक्रॉस एंड वट इज द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करेंट थ्रू फोर इट इज इन दिस डायरेक्शन सो द पोलारिटी ऑफ वोल्टेज ड्रॉप थ्रू दिस फोर ओम रेजिस्टर दिस वन इज प्लस दिस वन इज माइनस लेट दिस वोल्टेज इज भी वन सो भी वन इज इक्वल टू रेजिस्टेंस इन को करेंट फ्लो रेजिस्टेंस इज फोर करेंट फ्लो इज जीरो पॉइंट फाइव विच गेप्स टू वोल्ट देन कम टू द सेकेंड स्टेप इन सेकेंड स्टेप वी विल कंसिडर थ्री एम्पियर करेंट सोर्स एंड नेग्लेक्ट सिक्स वोल्ट वोल्टेज सोर्स बाय शॉर्ट सर्किटिंग दिस पाथ सो फॉर स्टेप टू फॉर स्टेप टू my simplified circuit diagram is i short circuiting the path where voltage source is present and without changing the other element i connect it as usual in the original circuit as it is a parallel circuit the best way to find the current through 4 ampere is current divider rule before you have learned many other methods also but it is a properly parallel circuit it is easy to use current divider rule to find the current flowing through 4 ohm resistor so total current flowing through the circuit is 3 ampere here in this point is it is divided into two path let i1 is flowing through 4 ohm and i2 is flowing through 8 ohm so according to current divider rule the current i1 is the total current into opposite resistance divided by the total resistance which are connected in parallel that is 8 plus 4 is 12 that is 24 by 12 which gives to ampere the direction of current is downward so the polarity of voltage drop across four let it is v2 is plus minus so v2 is equal to the current flowing through four ohm is 2 into its resistance by ohm's law which gives 8 volt so the total current sorry the total voltage drop across 4 volt is v1 plus v2 v1 is 2 volt and v2 is 8 volt it gives the result of 10 volt why i take this v1 plus v2 because the v1 and v2 polarities they are on the same directions okay or you may say that current flowing through these two steps are same hence i add this two voltages after completion of this topic student you come to conclusion that this superposition theorem is applicable for finding current through or voltage across an element in the circuit which consists of more than one independent sources the second point is that this principle is applicable for linear bilateral network the third point is that this principle is not applicable for the circuit which consists of only dependent sources and after completion of this topic you will able to solve any of the electrical network by using 
सुपर पोजिशन प्रिंसिपल